so good we got to do it twice. Take two, everybody. Thank you so much. We had a little mic issue, but that's all right. We can start all over again. Pigsty down in Boynton Beach, right off of Boynton Beach Boulevard, just west of I-95. Uh, it's been around for a while, but it's under new ownership. And I think you guys are going to like who's owning it. Uh, the guy's definitely a, a passionate man about his, about his cooking. And they got outdoor seating here. And let's go inside and check it out. So what I love is this place has an old Texas ju ju jukebox feel. And after you touch the door, you can come in here, get a little sanitizer. You're all good. Uh, great little spacing, old reclaimed wood. Just really reminds me of the time I went to Austin, Texas and got out of there and went to Black's and had some barbecue. Uh, and the barbecue looks amazing too. So let's go talk to Pitmaster Tom over here. What's going on, Pitmaster? Hey guys, welcome to Pigsty. How are you today? Doing very well, thank you. How awesome. are you? So you just got into this about six weeks ago. We did. We opened up six weeks ago uh, when the COVID stuff hit. My wife lost her job in the healthcare industry and uh, my son's a cook and, and I figured, you know, I've, I've got a little experience as a chef and I love barbecue. So I said, let's just open a family joint and we'll go from there. So, my man, you got, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about where you came from and where you, because you have a big, you have a pretty cool background. Well, yeah, I came up in Texas, and that's where, you know, I kind of get my, my background in barbecue. And, uh, you know, bar barbecue is a very primordial thing, speaks to your soul, you know, fire, wood, meat. And uh, I've also got 30 plus years experience as a chef. Awesome. And I've worked all over the place, all up and down the eastern seaboard, the Palm Beach, the Hamptons. Worked in the Hamptons. Caribbean. Where'd you work in the Hamptons? In Sag Harbor and Bridgehampton. I helped open a couple of restaurants up there. And what yeah. kind of cuisine was it? Oh, we did uh, neo Italian. Neo Italian. And, yeah, it's the real chefy stuff. But yeah, that, that's really not. That's where what my the audience wants is. out there: Spielberg and Billy Joel. Yeah. You know, and Alec Baldwin Bi and all. Billy those guys. Joel had a, a flat at the other end of the building that the restaurant I worked at in Sag Harbor was. Any in. good Billy Joel stories? Yeah. He used to get hammered, man. Yeah. <laughs> Not as nice a guy as you might think, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's the what day you catch him on because I heard he went out the banana boat one time and uh, girlfriend material was playing out there. And of course, he pulled up on his boat, typical like Long Island guy that's done yeah. well, gets out with his friends, and they were playing there at the time. So, of course, he did a Billy Joel song, and Billy Joel walked up and put money in, and he goes, I can't believe it. Billy Joel just put bread in my jar. Oh, man. <laughs> it happened, though, yeah. I swear. I swear. Anyway, let's get back into the good stuff. So, you got four different sauces here? Is we that got, how it works? Yeah, we got, we got four different sauces. We got the pigsty, the house sauce. It's a Western Carolina sauce, nice sweet tang to it. Uh huh. Then we put a little spice to it to make the pig sty spicy. The KC is a little deeper, richer sauce. It's got molasses in it. And the Texas brisket sauce also has molasses, but it's got a lot of smoke and it's got some pop to it because when you eat that slow and low brisket, you want something to, to give a little hit to the flavor. So we got, we got all, all, the, all the sauces are all homemade. Awesome. Yep. And and so when people come in here, but wait, one more thing. You played ball, didn't you? I, I did. I played ball for Texas. And you yep. really? What position? Yep. Offensive tackle. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I was a little bigger back then than I am now. You're pretty big still. I'm about, I'm about 335 when I played ball. Really? Yeah. You uh, you didn't miss, miss, miss much barbecue there when you were in Texas, huh? No, no, not at all. You know, I was on the receiving. I was a barbecue receiver. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. And all of these are put into individual portions. People who put them are putting them in gloves or wearing gloves when they're portioning it out. So people can put those right on your tray. So the style here is very Texas style. It's fast casual. So when you come in, you're just going to come in. You're going to convey your belt down, right? They, they call you the meat and threes style is what they call it. Cafeteria style. You, you come in. You, you choose your protein, you choose your sides, you get your beverages. All of the beers I have on tap over by my son Forrest here are all local What's and up, hyper Forrest? local. How are you? All right, Except, man. of course, the Shiner Bach, which is made in Shiner, Texas. So and those are all local beers. Those are all local and hyper local beers. Some yeah, of them Prosperity, with, I with see Isla Morada, Tony, our friend. Here. Nobo. Uh, Nobo. Yep. Awesome. Awesome Let's stuff. Try. Love to see guys collaborating like that. Eat, eat and I'm local. sure with a nice spicy sauce. A nice, good local beer. Absolutely, is, you're gonna hit the spot. Absolutely. So, so you guys go right down the line. You said the threes. Yeah. Yeah. Usually you, you get uh, your meat and three sides or two sides and a cornbread or something like that, and, and you work right on down. 
You go into the dining room, any of the tables that have the roll of paper towels on them, those tables are in play. Everything's been separated apart, so everybody is, uh, has a safe distance. We got sanitation stations. As soon as somebody eats, when they leave, we clean the tables, the chairs, the booth. Everything is done with sanitizer. Let's get back to the food a little bit, because you were saying you basically source everything out, right? Nothing here comes canned or anything, right? Nothing Tell us about your ingredients. Nothing from a box, a bottle, a can. I source everything as locally as possible, uh, and it's all from scratch. All from scratch. Absolutely. All right, so you're going to come right down the line. You're going to order your food up. Yep. Uh, come on down. You're going to have your beverage glass. Uh, you're going to grab your beers right here. He's got a great assortment of beers to go along with you. You even got White Claw and Trulies. Ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> got some samples, some wines over here. Uh, great taps, local stuff. Matthews Brewery, who we love. Isla Mirada, who we also love. Uh, Friends of the Family. Uh, Prosperity. And you got Novo here. Uh, awesome and, stuff. And we got house-made red and white sangria. House-made sangria, yeah, red and absolutely. white, to go along with your barbecue. That's a nice little, that's a nice little uh, uh, benefit or a nice little thing to go along with it. So let's go take a look inside because I really love the room. I'll meet you around here, Chef. We'll go take a look at the food. Like you said, we got plenty of space back here. These tables are open. That table's open. One in the middle here is not. Uh, everything's spaced out. Uh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous room. It's just a warm, warm jukebox style, juke joint style kind of thing. Everywhere you look, there's something on the wall that'll grab your attention, whether it's a, a quote that just makes you laugh, or it's an old 70s article, or an old 70s ad that you remember from being a kid. Let's take a look at the bathrooms real fast, and I very rarely say that. Um, <laughs> I am a Star Wars fan. Because, as you can tell, he's a Star Wars fan because of his phone. Not, well, you didn't hear it because the volume was out, but his phone went off and it was playing the Star Wars theme, and I almost lost it. And so we got Luke on one, and we got Princess Leia on the other. And is that Harrison Ford over there, I think? Yeah, that, that's a uh, pond stuck in carbonite down there on the kitchen door. Awesome stuff. You got a little Darth Vader on the walls. You got little things hanging. Your kids would love going to the bathroom, that's for sure. He's got a little turntable. those were the droids you were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So, like I said, it's just a warm room. You said when things get going and we're done with this knucklehead stuff that... Uh, you're going to have live bands again. Absolutely. We're not only going to have Friday night live bands. We're going to have Saturday night karaoke. We're going to have uh, poker on Tuesdays. We're going to have trivia on Wednesdays. We're going to have uh, bingo on Thursdays. So Awesome. We're closed on Monday, so got to take a day off, find man. something else to do on Monday night. But we got you the rest of the week. Awesome stuff. Let's go take a look at the food because I had a look at it before, and it's amazing. So, guys, this is the food that he's putting out, uh, Pitmaster Tom here. And uh, not only the portions generous, but that's some gorgeous looking meat right there. You want to tell us about it? Well, this is what we call the pigsty flight. Just like you go to the brewery and you get a little sample of all the different beers, you get a quarter pound of each of the smoked meats. I got pastrami, brisket, pulled pork, smoked sausage. Everything we serve here comes with the house made pickles, which I even make the pickles. Incredible. We got the mac and cheese, we got some collard greens, some house made slaw some sweet potato souffle, and that is a piece of my own recipe of bacon jalapeno cornbread. What? Bacon jalapeno cornbread. Oh yeah, it's as good as it sounds and looks too. Is that right? Wow, that's incredible stuff. And what does that run? That's $35. $35 that for that? That's easily split between two people, no problem at all. And we got Plenty two or three people come in and eat it all, all the time. Two or three people yeah. all the time. That's a gorgeous looking plate. Um, so here we are. We're down at Pigsty, Boynton Beach. Good barbecue. If you guys are looking for great barbecue, uh, you, you told him he's closed on Monday. Hours of operations again. Yeah, on, on Tuesday it's eight to or twelve to eight. Twelve to then, eight. And Sunday is twelve to eight. The rest of the time it's eleven to eight. Okay, so Tuesday, Sunday, twelve to eight. Every other day, eleven, 11 to eight. To eight. Check these guys out. You also do sandwiches. You guys do ribs, I'm you sure. Can, you can come in and get any of our smoked meats made into a sandwich with a side for 11 bucks, man. 11 bucks. 11 bucks with a side. Awesome stuff. Check and, them out. Pigsty. It, every ahead. day, every day we post on uh, the Pigsty Facebook page, we post our specials. So look us up, like the page, and you'll see the specials every day. There you go. Pigsty, Boynton Beach, barbecue. Check them out.